Hey guys, Kev here, and I have one, two, three, four, I have five things to open. Most of them are just nonsense, but then I have some knives coming in at the end. This I picked up on Amazon because I realized that the calipers I have are utter trash. I've seen a lot of other YouTube guys have these because you can get these for like 10 bucks on Amazon. Um, but they're plastic, they're flimsy, they only go to the hundredth of an inch, which sucks when you're trying to measure knife stuff. So not the best. Um, it does work though. I mean, it's pretty much calibrated, I think, um, based on my, you know, experience going back and forth with OEMs and stuff. It seems to work pretty well. Um, uh, but I got this one I upgraded to a $29 one or $23 one or something. So this one's metal. We're going to see if it's any good. Um, ooh, you get a little terrible cloth with it. Nice, nice. Here she is. Jeez, it had to come in a crazy case and stuff. Really fine presentation here. Come on. Caliper your way out of here. Doesn't come with an extra um, battery. Is there a screen protector or is it just scratched up from get-go? Okay, good. There we go. Just so I can scratch it myself. Uh, we have an instru... Oh, no, an extra battery? Or is it the battery? Let's find out. Yeah, there's a battery in there, so an extra. Um, so here you have your toggle. Whatever you want to call it. What does this guy do? Oh, that's nice. Is that what it's for? I don't know, but that feels good. Seems like that's what it's for. It feels a lot better than the one I have where you don't have that. I always struggle to like close it and open it and stuff. I just never enjoyed doing that. This just feels more professional, so to speak. So let's see. Is it zero? We can zero it again. We'll make sure it's closed like that. Zero it. We'll switch to inches. And yeah, look at that. Um, you have all the normal stuff. I don't know what this does. You guys tell me what that does. Um, here's some measuring stuff on the back. I don't understand. So let's say it's made out of 3V. It's made out of 3V? CR, that's the battery type. It's seriously made out of 3V steel? I think that would, oh look, it's locked in place now. So this locks it oh that's cool gotcha makes it a little harder to maneuver i guess so cool all right um uh-oh what's going on here now what if i tighten it no that doesn't make a difference all right so if i switch the millimeter we're off okay that should be zeroed out right so there we go, zero, back off, go back to zero. Okay, we're good. All right, so let's measure behind the edge. <laughs> let's take a knife here. Take something with like, you know, I don't know. Let's take this, this is Jared's knife. So I can scratch another one of Jared's knives. Let's do it. Uh, I'll be careful. Probably should have tape on the end. All right, let's grab one of my knives. Uh, yeah, let's grab the Kunwoo prototype. How about that? And I want to measure, measure. I want to measure behind the edge here. My God. Okay, I'm going back up here. Nope. No way. It is thin. I will tell you that, but it's not that thin. I'm above the edge. Jesus, this is hard. There we go. 13, 14. 
That's probably more accurate as 16. It does have a deep hollow grind. And Kun Wu is all about um, grinds and all that stuff. They did a good job on this. So I would venture to guess it is somewhere around there. Look, now we're not... What is going on? Why is it constantly not zeroed out? Is it normal for that to happen on calipers constantly? Like you do some stuff, fiddle around some stuff, and then all of a sudden it's not zeroed anymore? Look, there we go. It's not zeroed again. I don't like that, but whatever. You just zero it before every time, right? All right, so I'll keep that over there. I'll probably hang on to these just in case. You never know. Um, put these in here. Throw this, throw this. Keep the extra battery in here. And there we go. All right, so we're done with that. Sorry about all that. This cloth is brutal. We have these two from Hinderer Knives. At least I think so. Sorry, my address is showing, so I'm just trying to be careful. All right. It's not going to be popular that this is here, but... And these are not mine. They are... Uh, I'm proxying for Josh over in Australia, so you can give him shit. Titanium scale, smooth working finish for a three and a half inch XM18. And XM18, three and a half inch complete black nitride hardware kit. So he's, he's going for the titanium scale, which I will say, this scale looks very well machined. I gotta give him that. But it's probably a two hundred dollar scale, and then you have all of the hardware that's blacked out, which is pretty cool. Does it have pricing on here? I wonder. Yep, that scale was two hundred and eight dollars, and that hardware kit eighty eight dollars for a hardware kit. Holy shit, Josh! So that's gonna go on a three and a half inch XM eighteen, which is cool. All right, so we got those out of the way. Then we got a box from Blade HQ. Again, this is for Josh. Don't know what this is. Okay. We have a spider cut. Now I remember this is a sprint run uh, shaman. Yeah, this is the one in. Oh, I thought you said it was JG10. This is the crewwear one. Green micarta shaman. Well, we're gonna find out, aren't we? Wow, that one has a detent. CPM M4. That's what it was. The M4. He thought I wouldn't like. I just don't love the Shaman, but I'll tell you what, i tell you what, this one uh, with the Micarta feels really good. Um, oh, it's way off center, look at that. Is it loose? I mean, it's rubbing already. Is it a T10 pivot on these? Looks like it. Hold on. Tight. The fact that they let stuff leave the factory like this. I mean, look at that. Look how off that is. And then they have the worst, and it has play, and then they have the worst customer service in the game. You know, like... You're literally screwing your customer over from Jump Street. I can't even loosen it. Yeah, I can't do anything about this. I think it's rubbing. So, I'll tell Josh about it. He may want to just deal with it himself, but man, that sucks. This is actually a really cool knife. Um, 
This is probably my favorite shaman I've ever handled. Um, I usually just talk crap on the shaman. I think this with a um, nub delete and a CME, I would actually like it. Um, it feels comfortable in hand. Um, I've heard you can front flip the shaman. Oh, yeah, that's jump to he high heaven. Yeah, you can get it. Yeah, it's just getting worse, I think. But I can't tighten it. Uh, it makes no sense. It's loose. There's play. This is just terrible. I try with the stubber. There we go. So that knocked it off a little more. See if we can't fix her up here for you. It's got Loctite like sh crazy in there. Those, those washers are nice though. I'm gonna do something dumb that nobody is gonna think will work, but hey. You never know. Okay. Loctite everywhere. It's disgusting. Okay. getting worse it's as far as it'll pull I mean the action's good because the because it won't the pivot won't tighten yeah and there's like tons of play there even if I crank those down I still have play you can hear it That's just sad. And we're back to where we were. So I could try doing the, um, you know, the paper trick test. But I'm just going to talk to Josh and see what he wants to do with it. He may want to talk to Blade HQ, get a new one, or send it back. But that's why I always put on my notes for Blade HQ, Knife Center, any of the bigger retailers, I put please QC check in the notes. I mean, they can't get mad at you for asking for a QC check. And um, more times than not, it might help you because they're actually going to look at the knife. Because if if you don't put that, they're not going to look at the knife. You know what I mean? They're just going to package it up and send it. If somebody looked at this, you'd think they'd be like, uh, uh, that's way off center, guys. We got a little bit of play, you know? So... Anyway, I actually really like this knife. It's heavy as hell, though. I will say that. I wonder if you could do, like, a liner delete. If you could delete the liners um, to, to lighten it up a little bit, you know? Um, anyway. Let's get into the last but not least package. This one is from Ron, a.k.a. Hank the third fan on Instagram. I'll link it down below his Instagram. He sent me the Lightbringer, the Blow Rhino Lightbringer, and the um, Demco River Wolf. If you guys remember, that was awesome. And he sent me two knives. He said one of them just came out or something, and the other one is an Isham design uh, that I definitely want to look at. Because I have the Arrakis here that I recently got. So, oh god, it's an O knife. I've never handled or I've never reviewed an O knife, so that's kind of cool. I love how my instinct what my instinct said. Oh god, <laughs> I'm gonna hate this thing. It's called the Zilla. 154 cm stainless steel blade. There's your address, Guangdong, which is pretty much par for the course. 
for knife stuff. Oh, knife. Let's see. Whoa. Okay. I've heard you get a coin with their stuff. Oh, yeah. Look at that. It's got a little coin pouch. That's pretty cool. Oh, yeah. Look. There's a little lizard on there. That's actually a real coin. I mean, that's nice. Zilla. So if you collect the O not the O knives, you'll get cool coins with everyone. I think that's unique and interesting. And they have a little pouch in here. Uh, we know these are OEM by Kaiser, so that's good. I mean, they make good knives, so there's no complaining about that. Especially for, I would assume this is a budget centric knife. Uh, it looks like a knife that may maybe would cost. 60 bucks and it being o knife maybe it's like 70 or 80 because their name's on it you know so here's the zilla oh yeah we got a detent you know what this looks like not gonna lie it looks like uh one of those is it ch or whatever one of those brands of knives that i give away that white mountain knives sends me that i pay like 12 bucks for to give away on the channel it's kind of what this reminds me of um just g10 and kind of just ugly no offense uh it, it does have a cool blade shape it's sort of a drop poon um it's probably what i would call that the lock bar is horrendous i mean they give you access in here but it's so thin and there's no jimping it's just awkward as all get out uh, the action's pretty good. I mean, right out of the box, we're almost dropping shut. I'm sure with a little bit of tunage, we could drop shut. It's got that cool Kaiser thing where the bearing kind of goes up into the blade cutout. Um, there's your 154 CM. Um, it's got a flat grind, but it's a tall flat grind, so probably comes down to a thin edge that I probably couldn't measure with those calipers, and I'm not going to mess with his knife. Um... Oh, it's got a nice deep carry clip. Look at that. It's a nice clip. It is reversible. I like that. I, this is an underrated type of clip where the where the clip mounts like that. It's like wide on the sides, but it just works so well. You can get a deep carry clip all the way to the butt end. Um, Left-handed, this thing is just really bad to disengage. Now, can I flick it? Just like... Can I flick it off the... Yeah, if it was like a hollow grind, you could, but it's kind of hard to, you know, get in there. So I can't. And the detent is really good. Um, it's a crispy detent. See that? There's no fail in this bad boy. So, yeah, it's pretty cool, actually. This is not a bad uh, budgety knife. One thing I don't like, it's a Kaiser thing is um the proud liners and the super shiny um liners i just don't know why you don't just blast them or do something well look the clip in the hardware is black why didn't they black out the liners i just feel like that would have given the knife you know a different look it would have been cool but they went with a two-tone satin i mean you got a machine satin i don't know yeah and then you got a horizontal satin up here it says o knife Oh no, Gage, that must be the designer. SN1375, Zilla, O Knife, 154CM. You got this green color. Got some, you know, ribbing right here. Ergonomically, it's pretty good in the hand. I mean, you got the poon. Everybody loves a poon spoon. Uh, but you're mostly choked back here. You don't have a choil, so you can't really get into that spoon. Now, you could do this, you know, as long as you don't bear down, you might cut yourself there. Here's your sharpening choil. Looks pretty good in my eyes. The plunge grind ends, ooh, it ends like right as the edge starts. Maybe you can get that angle there, you see it? <laughs> kind of ends like right there, right where the blade ends. So, I mean, I guess it's functional, I don't know. I'm not an expert on that. But yeah, it's cool. So that's the O-Knife Zilla, put that in the case. And then we have the brother to... The Wee Knives Arrakis. This is an Isham design. It's a knife I got to hopefully raffle off um, and give the proceeds to the Isham family. I just haven't found a way to get them the money yet, so I haven't done it. 
Um, but this, I believe, is called the Eterna. It's got a green thing on it. Black tie, vertebral, integral handle with carbon fiber inlay. Eterna polished bowler M390. So, yeah, it's literally like the brother to the Arrakis here. Oh, little brother to the Arrakis here. We're going to see which one I like better because I'm actually curious. Um, because I thought the Arrakis was the coolest looking design he had from my standpoint. Um, oh, yikes. Here's the Eterna. So I actually, I like both. Um, I do still like the Arrakis better. I think it just, with all the holes, it just looks cool. And this handle's even thinner. Um, and yeah, this one's a little less ergonomic. This one has like a sway back going on. It, it works, like, but it's not comfortable. No way. You could choke to this flat right here. It doesn't look like it's meant to, though. And that's not super comfortable either. Now, the blade shape is more for me, right? Because you got this sort of upswept warning. Sheep's foot reverse, tan mini reverse tanto thing going on. Boom, right? But this works too. I mean, I don't even know what to call this blade shape. I guess they call it a sheep's foot. I don't know. But the detent on this one is just much crisper than... Wow. That it sucks it in though. So it seems like something else is going on. Man, that flipper tab is pokey though. I think it's just a... The blade is too light. Let me try something. Oh, I have it already. Idiot. I'm just going to take a drop of KPL Heavy on a microfiber Q-tip from KPL. Shout out to KPL. You can get all this stuff at their website, knifepivotlube.com. Use my code LEFTY10. I'm just going to put a drop up and around that detent ball and see what happens here. Because I did that to the Arrakis, and it made a difference. I don't know if I did it in the unboxing. Because the action on this just feels better, honestly, than that. Um, you can see there, it's already making a difference. Now, it could be... Ah, so they have it dialed for that. Okay, yeah, now I get why people like this one. Lefty. Ooh, look at that lock bar all the way up here. Oh, what? This is a game changer. I kind of want an Eterna now. Um, I still don't agree with... Ooh, I still don't agree with the ergos at all. I just don't get it. You can hold it here, but it, look at that gapping. Like, it just feels weird to hold. Now, for my purposes, it would work. Oh, it's sharp, too. Um, for my purposes, it would work just fine because I don't, you know, I don't cut horses. Um, but for people who use their knives regularly for, ow, for stuff. Oh, I was on the lock bar. Jesus Christ. Look at that. Oof. Um, I think this would be way more comfortable if you're a user. Uh, this actually is comfortable in hand. Like, this I can make comfortable. Like, to where it's acceptable. You know what I mean? But the other one actually feels comfortable. The action on this one, though. Ooh. That's so cool. I mean, dude, these designs are just so out there. Can I thumb it? That's what she said. Yeah, I got it. You could slow roll it, I bet. Slow roll it out. Lefty flick. Lefty flick. Yeah. So, you got some uh, fidgetability here. You got a little bit of rock going on. Let me flick it out. Yeah, there's still a little bit of rock. A little bit there, too. So, maybe it's an inherent design thing this one's lock up right there kind of normally this one locks up all the way up under there it's really interesting um yeah just super unique knives here guys 
I love it. I love it. Like, this is to the point where it's different. Um, not just for the sake of being different. Like, this is different for an artistic point of view, right? Where some knives are just trying to be different, but they're not, like, doing it in a good way. You know what I mean? These are that to me. This one specifically is, like, fantastic. I honestly, if I didn't, plan on doing this raffle thing i would keep this in the collection i think just to have it because it's now well obviously now with aisham passing it's you know a little bit more collectible or whatever but that's not the reason why it's it's so unique and different than anything in my collection that it it warrants actually sticking around and then if i needed to use it it's actually like really comfortable in hand it's got a great blade grind. Um, it's got a little fidget to it. You know what I mean? Um, this one you can't flick. I mean, I tried really hard. Um, I got it like one time right-handed, but it's just not happening left-handed either. So that's where this one kind of comes in a little bit. You know, you can flick it. But those ergos are just brutal. And the flipper tab with this D10, I don't know what they were doing there. Are you supposed to like... Let me try to do something different. Like, I don't know. Just none of that feels. <sighs> yeah, that's the way to do it. Just light switch it back. Oh, sorry. I never showed you this. There's the Isham logo. There's something. I don't know what that is. It's pretty cool. And it is an integral. So, um,. Ron was saying he doesn't understand how they can call it an integral because it has the carbon fiber. But this legit, this is more integral than this because this kind of rides up to here and then it meets the carbon fiber and the carbon fiber is screwed in. This one, that's a full titanium integral back there. This whole piece is, is integral titanium and then they got that piece of carbon fiber in. However, they did it. I mean, this is the engineering on this is really cool too, honestly, on all of these. Um, and the price point, honestly, for that, it's an integral with that type of detail, carbon fiber, titanium, M390. They had this one at 348, and they had other ones, I think, that weren't carbon fiber at 330. Uh, I think that price is very good. Um, I don't know what the price is on this one, but. I'm sure it's somewhere in that in that neighborhood. And for an integral like that, I, I really do think that's impressive. Now I really want to try the Escaton. That's the other one that he did um, with Wii. So I'd really like to try an Escaton. If anybody has one and wants to send one my way, that'd be cool. Uh, but anyway, there you go, guys. Um, hope this was somewhat cool for you to watch. Um we had the Isham knives here. Of course, we had that O knife. We had my calipers and some Rick Hinderer stuff. Boo. <laughs> anyway, shout out to uh, Ron for sending these my way. Shout out to Josh. And uh, too bad that Shaman is just trash. So uh, I love you guys. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day. And I will catch you later.